Welcome to Apple Insider, everyone. It is Andrew here with the first developer beta of iOS 14.3. This is the first update here to 14.3, and there is a lot going on. So we're going to dig into this and go through all the changes, features, and everything you can expect in this big update that is coming sometime in the near future. Starting off with going into settings and finding Safari. We have a new option for a default search engine. You can now choose Ecosia, Ecosia, if I'm saying that correctly, as your new default. If you're not familiar with the search engine, basically it replaces Google or Bing or Yahoo as your search engine. And every time you search, they use the money that they make, all of their profits, and they use it to plant trees. So it's an environmentally friendly search engine. So that is a new option with iOS 14.3. Also in settings, if we scroll down just a little further, we can go to camera and under format. If you have an iPhone 12 Pro or 12 Pro Max, there's a new option to enable Apple Pro Raw. This is a new image format that basically combines all the benefits of Apple's computational photography with the benefits of RAW, including highlights and shadows. When this is enabled, you'll see a new icon, a new toggle inside of the camera app up in that top corner. Basically turn that on or off to shoot with or without RAW or Apple Pro RAW. Apple says these files can be a bit larger in size because the additional data that they are capturing, they can be up to 25 megabytes in size. When you're looking inside of the Photos app, you will notice that with standard photo here, it says live in that upper left-hand corner, but an Apple Pro Raw image will say raw in that upper left-hand corner. So that's how you know the difference between a standard shot and an Apple Pro Raw shot. If we jump into the Health app, we have a new category, or more or less two new categories. We have Cardio Fitness Notifications. So these are notifications that will come in through Apple Watch and based on your VO2 Max. So this is a good measurement of your health and your cardio fitness, which is also a second category, Cardio Fitness, which now tracks that VO2 Max data here inside of the Health app on your iPhone after capturing that data from your Apple Watch. This likely requires WatchOS 7.2, which should also be launching in beta. If we hop on over to the Shortcuts app, we have a new option here. Now this technically was there before, but I believe it was removed. So if we go up to the search, we can now search for set and we have the returned ability to set wallpapers. This is pretty awesome for those who are customizing their iPhone screens, create a shortcut to set your home screen or lock screen uh, or both their wallpapers. Another new feature that was missing inside of iOS 14 when it originally launched are a version of app clips. So app clips have been around, but you could not scan those app clip codes. Now, whenever you scan an app clip code inside of the camera app, you'll see it does detect that code. In this case, it's just a blank code, so no data was found, but it can, in fact, scan those app clip codes now inside of 14.3. Inside of the Find My app, now we did not find this, but Steve Moser here did share a little video of this new animation, this new pairing screen that was included with 14.3 and the Find My app basically really leaning into the air tags that are still you know coming sometime soon and we may have a good look there at the airpods studio over the head apple headphones so that might be our good first look at those from apple as well as more confirmation of air tags whenever those seem to be launching which at this point both of those seem slated for early 2021 inside of the app store when we launch there's a new splash screen here intro screen and it goes over app privacy details, just some small changes here, uh, just a new kind of welcome screen inside of the app store after updating to 14.3. Finally, inside of the home app, there is a new interface that allows you to update all accessories right from one spot, and it looks like Apple will actually be allowing you to update your HomeKit accessories through the home app rather than through individual third-party apps. Let us know what you think and if you found any other changes. Otherwise, we'll catch you in the next video.